And we on. Yeah, we back up in this bitch. Got an interview with a special guest, Mr. Keyshawn Davis, the number one ranked lightweight in the United States. Bad boy. I'm checking out some of his fights on YouTube. He's a monster. I'm trying to pull up the video right now and pull up our live stream because I was in the hangout. But he, he is a two time, he won the national PAL tournament two times in a row, 2013 and 2014. Won the National Golden Gloves in 2017, among other shit that he won. He a bad motherfucker, man. So how you, how you feeling today, youngster? Man, I'm feeling great, man. You got to finish sparring, you know what I'm saying? Fuck these niggas up. You know these niggas can't fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Already. Yeah, for sure. Like a hey, that's what I was telling you, man. I say, man, look, KD, man, he made for the thing, man. He love to be under the lights, you know what I'm saying? And that don't yeah. take away from him working hard, you know? He's yeah, for sure. Cold. That's what I'm yeah. talking about, man. Yeah, man, the thing about me, man, you know, I just like having fun. You know what I'm saying? I love interviews, love being under the lights and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a very humble kid. I just love what I do. For sure. And on our channel, man, we love to support the youngsters, the prospects and stuff like that. You are actually our first one that we got the interview, but we make a big effort to support y'all. We got love for you, know what I'm saying? So we're here to celebrate sure. you today. Ask sure. some questions about you and get to know you because we hear um, on some interviews that you next in line. Yes, sir. People like Shakira Stevens say, so you going to go take home the gold medal and you're going to yeah. be next in line in the pro game. Yeah, 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 gold medal and best boxer, man. That's what already. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you say speak it, believe it, receive it already. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. sir. So we, we get into the question, man. Whoever had that first question about um his origin, like how he got into boxing, man, y'all ask that question. All right, that was me. Yeah, uh, Keyshawn, uh, what got you into boxing? Uh, uh, I was nine years old. I got into boxing. Um, I was playing football and basketball. You know, me and my two other brothers, Keyshawn and Kelvin Davis, we was playing football and basketball. You know, football was actually my first love until. About high school, niggas started getting too big. I was like, man, fuck that. I got to start boxing. So uh, what really got me into it, though, it was just like, I just love to fight. You know what I'm saying? I love contact sports. So, yeah, football is a contact sport. But when it comes out to fighting, that's what I like, really love. I was really passionate about. So nine years old, my mama took me to the uh, boxing gym one day. Me and my two brothers, we sitting there watching sparring for like an hour. We just watching, not saying nothing. And then after a while, my mom was like, I want to sign up. It was like, yeah. And the next day, we just started and started fighting after that. Man, that's cool, man. My hey. mom took me to the gym, too, man. That's how I got into boxing. Of course, <laughs> I wasn't on your level, you know what I'm saying? But that's how I got into it. So, man, let me ask the next question. So, how yeah. many fights do you have? And what was your favorite experience in boxing so far? Uh, how many fights I have? I have over probably like 120 fights. Um, okay. My favorite experience in boxing? Uh... I just like to travel, you know what I'm saying? I like to get out of the country, see them different countries, fighting in different countries, experiencing just that the atmosphere of being around all these different fighters training to get to reach that one goal. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's why like I just love that experience that everybody don't get to, to experience. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. So right. so uh Rough House, you got a question? Yeah, I got a question. Hey, what's going on, champ? Hey, this is Rough House, awesome. man, from Rough House Boxing TV, man. Hey, we in your corner all day long. We ride with you. For sure. What's up? Hey, check it out. I want to know, uh, what weight do you normally walk around at? Uh, in training camp or outside of training camp? Outside of training camp. Well, in training camp and outside of training camp. In training camp, about 145. Outside okay. of training camp, like 147. Oh, that's good. Same. Same. That's what's up. Hey, that means you live it. You really live in that fighter's lifestyle. You take care of your body. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a good look for for all up and coming youngsters that they want to follow in your path, man. Uh, watch that boy Keyshawn, man, and take care of your body. Stay in shape. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I got a question. It's... So, oh, go ahead, my guy. I didn't mean to cut you out. Nah, nah, you straight. Well, yeah. Even like outside of. Outside of training camp, like, say, if you got finished fighting, it's most definitely important to take care of your body, you know what I'm saying? Don't be out there doing anything just because you don't got no fight coming up. Keep drinking that water. Keep doing what you got to do. Do your sit-ups, push-ups. Do something. Go for a run just to stay in shape. I had to learn that the hard way. Real talk. Already. But you learned hey, you that. When you said you had to Facts. learn the hard way, what, what, what experience was it that you had to go through to learn? Just sitting around, not doing nothing, eating, weight jumping up all crazy. And then when it's time to get back in training camp, I feel horrible. 
know what I'm saying? That that it's just it's just it's not healthy on the body. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming from an elite athlete fighting the big tournaments and stuff, you gotta take care of your body. Back. Yes, sir. Right, yes, right, sir. Right. You said right. you were doing right. some sparring today. What, what, oh, my bad, Top Cast, man. We all excited and shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, real talk. I wanted to, uh, since, he, since he just a part of the Davis brothers, you know what I'm saying? I wanted you to talk, build with us about Kelvin and Keon. Man, Kelvin and Keon, they just as good as me. They, they just ain't get the opportunity yet to showcase it yet. Uh, Keon Davis, he my younger brother, 17 years old. Uh, on the Olympic run too. Yeah, he going to the tournament in March, the Western qualifiers to get to the Olympic trials. My big brother Kelvin Davis, uh, 22 years old, um, southpaw, uh, tall, nice and lanky. You know what I say? I spar him a lot to get good working with him before the fights. He also going to the Western qualifiers to go to the Olympic trials. So we all try to get in the Olympics and perform and show what we can, what we can do. How did we three really come up? That's what's up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you're very well spoken, too, my bro, young brother. But I, I, got, I, got, I, I got a question for you, man. So uh, it's a two-part question. What mm-hmm. fighters have you got to meet and work with, and who have you learned the most from in boxing? Uh, what fighters I got to meet? Um, I can say Terrence Crawford. Uh, I sparred with him sometime last year. I think it was like April sometime last year. Uh, we're about four mm-hmm. rounds with him. They like that same week, going like another three rounds with him. So, yeah, watching, just watching him train, watch his work ethic, see how he stay focused, even with all the big houses, the cars, the females. He's still focused. He's still training hard out in Colorado Springs. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Tank, I got the spar with Tank, Javante Davis. Um, this was back when I was 16. This was back when Tank wasn't even Tank yet. He was just another fighter, you know what I'm saying? So, I got to work with him. Of course, Shakur Stevenson, I got to work with him. That's like my brother. Um... Richardson Hitchens uh, from New York. Got to work with him. Uh, AB, I've been around AB a couple of times. He actually wanted to sign me, but I ain't going to get into yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I ain't, get to, I ain't get to work with AB, but I've been around here. Watched him train. I trade with him out in Headbangers and DC gym. So, yeah. Uh, Lomacheco, I got to watch Lomacheco, Shakur Spar. Um, I ain't get to work with him, but you know what I'm saying? Being around the atmosphere. Yeah, the people. Man. So who who's, who's you say you learned the most from after the people that you got to meet? Uh, just being around him so much, Shakur Stevenson. He taught me a lot. He got me. I feel like he one of the reasons why I'm on this level in amateurs. Um, just being around a pro and seeing how they move and how they think and how they go about things, it put me on a an extra level that other amateurs don't know yet. That's outstanding, man. Hey, right, hey, keep it on, hey, to keep it on that note right there, though, Keyshawn. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just going to say, you got you got a lot of respect from your peers, I see. You know what I'm saying? Watching your highlight films and watching the field of your fights. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just wanted to know, did that make you work harder or, or, or you settled in, you know what I'm saying, the way you at right now? Uh, it makes me work harder and it also humbles me because I watch a lot of people that's above me, world champions, uh, silver medalists, gold medalists. So when I see them work, they still stay focused. I'm like, shit. I ain't do none of that yet, so there's no reason for me to get all cocky and flamboyant about stuff because shit, I still got a long way to go. You know what I'm saying so. It it keeps me humble and it also betters me. That's it keeps me keeps me sharp mentally, and I feel like it, it smarters me. Uh, even like when they're doing interviews like this, I watch how they go about things. Uh, when they talk in the ring, I, I I pay attention to stuff like that, so I won't go up there and make the mistakes or say the wrong thing that I ain't mean to say. So little things like that, it, it really keeps me a step ahead. That's right. That's, player. That's, player, That's what's man. up. Hey, and uh, I, uh, a quick comment. First of all, man, you were talking about um, how you were in the presence and, and working with Shakur Stevenson and y'all have kind of gotten tight knit, man. I was breaking down film on Shakur Stevenson last night, man. And when I went back and I looked at the video clips from you, I do notice similarities in your game. So I could see. I can see where that, uh, you know, saying that that interaction is y'all y'all rubbed off on each other, whatever the case may be, man. But, yeah, uh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so I was me- seeing some Andre Ward too, man. What's what's your thoughts on Andre Ward? Well, yeah, actually, I got to meet Andre Ward too, but it wasn't nothing big. But um, Andre Ward, he a great fighter for sure. Um, he inspired me when he got dropped in that uh, Kovalev fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got back up and started putting the work. Basically, he ain't let that discourage him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My recent fight, my last fight, actually, I got dropped. Um, I, I was telling people the first thing I thought about was Clarissa when she got dropped, started whooping the girl ass. 
Yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, since, hey, since we right there, look, I, it's a fight that I saw you fight, and I thought you won this fight. It was against Arthur, uh, Arthur, some Arthur Twilly or some stuff, something like that. I saw, I saw oh, the fight, man. You know, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's, it's, that's not even him. His name is really Mark Castro. That was when I was okay. like 16 years old, you know what I'm saying? It was a back in the day, it was a huge fight everybody wanted to see. But yeah, go on, what, what's up? I thought you won that fight, right? I yeah. mean, you, you was looking good up in there. You was catching him with, uh, uh, what was it, lead left hooks, you know what I'm saying? Straight right hands, you was in there shining. Yeah. And, you know and at the end, you know what I'm saying, you, uh, you thought you was disappointed in, uh, in the results. I thought you won too. Uh, tell yeah. me what you tell me what you was thinking right there, because I saw some improvements after that. Ooh, that's back in the day, wow. But uh, <laughs> when I think about that, mm -hmm. um, I feel like the fight itself or the decision. No, this is the decision. This, this is what you know, because I, I feel like you know you won. I know your confidence was there. You know what I'm saying? I just, and you know, I know disappointment was there. I just wanted to know, like, you know, what would that motivate you to go back and, um, you know, change some things up? Well, was when that it comes down to when it comes down to boxing, especially amateur boxing, it's a lot of bias judges. It's a lot of politics. So uh, at the time, he was one of the he was one of the favorites, basically, and I was one of the up and coming dogs that that was that was a big threat to him. So that's why it was a big fight. So I kind of knew I wasn't gonna get the decision, but I was still in there trying to fight the win to make sure I get the decision. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm fighting I'm fighting the fucking the fucking the the, the best out right now, basically that everybody think he the best out. Right. And it's like I just gotta do what I gotta do to win, and I didn't get the decision. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was mad, but I wasn't like surprised about it. So yeah. you live and you learn. And when I go back and watch that, I, I hate watching that fight. But when I go back and watch that fight, I always remember like, don't, don't be the old Keyshawn. Be the, be the Keyshawn. Like what I, when I learned from dealing with the pros, be the, just be the new Keyshawn. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Hey. So do you, do you feel like you an experience the like that made you better? Yeah, for sure. Every almost every experience in the Nationals, I feel like maybe better because you just learn something new. Basically, every time you get a loss or a close decision, you just learn something new and you capitalize on it. Yeah. You're looking good in that fight, though, Keyshawn. Man, I thought you won. Man, I like I like your, your, your accuracy. I like your footwork and all that, man. You, you was in Thank there shining. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's next for you, KD? Man, I gotta go to Bulgaria next month, man. Next uh, month? Yeah, it's transit tournament. I won it. I won it last year. I got a uh, gold medal in the best boxer. So I'm, I guess I'm trying to do the same thing this year. <laughs> All right. So, so who, who, who are your favorite fighters growing up? Growing up, my first favorite fighter was Pacquiao. <laughs> why wow, Pacquiao, huh? That's yeah, what's up. I'll, don't ask me why. I'm not, I know why. I know exactly why. <laughs> yeah, tell, I like up, yeah, tell me up. Tell me why, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I hey. know exactly why I like him. Because that motherfucker used to sleep on the goddamn roads. And he had nothing to eat, and he got in the box to feed his family. That's exactly what he did, man. He came up off this box and he did what he had to do. That's, That's exactly why I like that. He came with a real reason, too. Real so reason. Real salute talk. for that. Salute That's for that. Yeah. Yeah, he you came out of nowhere. Ain't nobody expecting him to do what he did, and he did it. That's right. Yeah, and on the heels of this uh, upcoming Broner Pacquiao fight, man, that was, I think that was a perfect question to answer right there. Hey, who, who you got in that fight? AB, hey, you know. Pacquiao. Man, you know I'm going with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it up. You know I'll go with us, man. But honestly, in a boxing perspective, I think Pacquiao gonna win. Yes, okay. Hey, we said that. Well, I said the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm riding with AB. Fuck it. I ain't gonna put no money on it. But I'm riding with it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey, man, man. I, I go for AB, but Ben O'Pacquiao. For sure. Hey, hey. Uh, uh, what's your thoughts on that girl's piss, Mikey Garcia's fight? Ooh. Uh, I feel like. I feel like. In the boss's perspective, Mikey Garcia is technically sound better than Earl Spence. But just because Earl Spence not going for none of that shit and he just on his, his prime right now and he bigger, I got Earl Spence for sure. Okay, okay. So so what are some of your favorite fights that done take pl took place recently in the pro game? Mm. Any yeah. good fights you done seen that you like? Yeah. Uh, oh, Canelo and GGG. 
Okay, okay. So oh, how, yeah, how right. you feel about it? He's a big Golovkin fan. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. You thought Golovkin beat him? Hell no. Nah. Oh, you like oh, Canelo? You know? Yeah, I like Canelo, but I, I'm going to be real. I don't think Golovkin beat him that second time. That second time, I feel like Canelo switched the game plan up. GGG couldn't adjust, and he, I feel like Canelo controlled the whole oh. fight. Already. Real talk. Already. Okay. So go ahead, real fast. You about to ask something? Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask, man. Um, uh, what do you consider your greatest strengths or attributes? And uh, if you could pick any one thing to improve in your game, what would it be? Uh, my greatest strength, um, well, two of my greatest strengths I love my jab and I love my defense, right? Right, uh, when, I'm, when I'm staying, when I'm really staying focused and I'm really in there doing my thing at my best, it's always behind my jab, and a nigga cannot hit me, hey, amen. Real you talk. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, so, so let me ask you, who is your favorite current fighter? Favorite what? Your favorite current fighter. Current fighter? Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't have one. You feel like you can whoop them all, huh, man? No, nah, it's not that. It's just <laughs> I don't have a favorite. I don't have that one person where I just go and look at. Now, my favorite all the time, I love, I love Muhammad Ali because I like how he just entertained in the ring and outside the ring. He just he always kept the intention on him, and he and he was also a great fighter. So and he and he and what he believed in, he stood on. It. You feel me? And I, oh, I just really? I just love how he carried himself. So I, I see I see you like a big like a big integrity and in what's inside of a person like like what you like about Pacquiao and what you like about Ali. Like you you a deep young brother, man. That's what. I'm <laughs> hey, talking. gentlemen. And yeah. hey, it's gonna lead into my next question. I'm gonna uh-huh. put you on the spot right here, KD. Right? Okay. This, this, this legendary topic. I'm gonna put you on the spot, man. Give me your top. Give us your top uh, five all time, pound for pound. Muhammad, Floyd, Muhammad, Floyd, Sugar Ray. Which one? Oh, you want to put it in the order? No, no, no. Which no, Sugar, Sugar Ray? Ray? Which Sugar Ray? Oh, oh, oh Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Muhammad Floyd, Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, shit. Uh, I can three, speed. man. I can't give you five. Yeah, man. top three, good. Three. Top three. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, we can work with that. Yeah, top three for sure. Though I feel like that's my top three. Like, it can't oh. get no better than that shit. Matter of fact, so like, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Sweet pea. Oh, yeah, there hey, go. hey, there you I go. Gonna, I was gonna ask you about that one. for sure. Oh, really? Sweet pea. I'm tripping. Sweet pea. Did you like James Tony? Nah, I don't really watch him that much. Oh, you ain't really watching? Oh, yeah, you kind of young. You kind of young. You need to brush up on James <laughs> Tony. You got me, you know what I'm so, so yeah. look, are, are, are there some are there some possible fights out there right now that you want to see? Professional? Yeah, professional. Mikey and Earl. Um, I want to see Gigi Canelo fight one more time. Okay. Um, who? Are, oh yeah, Earl Spencer, Terrence Crawford. Yes, sir. Javante right, Davis right. And, and Lomachenko. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Shakur and Ryan Garcia. Shakur and Devin Haney. Let me back you up real quick. Let me back you up real quick. How do you think that uh, Lomachenko and Tank Davis fight to go? Come on, man. You know who I'm going with. <laughs> 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 nah, but honestly, though, honestly, I saw Shakur and Stevenson and Lomachenko spar. I feel like if Tank develop, develop a little bit more, like 2020, I feel like he can get him. Okay. Not this 2019 Shakur. though. 2020. Did, did did Shakur hold his own in there? He held his own. Hell, put like this. The first bar session, right? They went like <laughs> they went four rounds. Dude, okay. they, Shakur had to do frustrated. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you why the next day, well the next spar session they went all twelve rounds straight. Wow. Uh, he said he wants that get back. So yeah. so 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 you tell me if he held his own. He went yeah, 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 his own. Yeah. Shit, you got right. right. Hey, he, held it. he held his own in somebody else's too. Exactly. Young. Exactly. That's that and, young life. Yeah, and let me take his backyard, man. In his backyard. Nah. <laughs> with pa- hey, with Papa Chink going to jail up already. <laughs> hey, that nigga, that nigga, he a dirty ass person. See, think about little Chico. He great, like. He came back. He really tried to adjust Shakur. He really was working on what he was doing wrong. And he a dirty fighter. Like, he tried to do everything to win. He had a little competitive. So, I respect Lewin Chico. But at the end of the day, the young nigga, you know what I'm saying, the young nigga always going to be prosperous. Right. Yeah. Oh, really. oh, oh, young king. Yeah. <laughs> Took a jewel home with that. For sure. Hey, uh, since we on that note, on the sparring note, though, uh, who would be a dream Who who would be a dream fight? Or a sparring fight for you later, later on down the line, or even right now. 
I want to spar Devin Haney. Wow. Oh. oh. That's yeah, I was about to say, say ain't wait. No, no disrespect. I just want to know what I'm saying. I'll get some work. That's right. Right. Competition. Mm-hmm. I like this youngster, man. This what with they you. say. Cool, man. That was some good work. So, hey, so what would be a dream fight for you later on down the line? Shit, I can't really say that. I was too early. But amateurs? I'm going to fight that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name? Alvarez from Cuba. I'm going to fight you again. And I'm going to okay. fight France. Hey, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Let's get it. Hey, <laughs> hey, you better talk that shit, young man. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. I love this man. No, sir. Yeah, hey, for sure. hey, 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 bro. Uh, to kind of to kind of piggyback off the last question I asked you, uh, it was a two part question. You told me about your greatest strength, your attributes, which is your your jab and your defense. The second part of that was. Uh, if if there was any one thing that you could improve about your game, what would it be? Uh, I want to learn how to fight punch. Well, I, I didn't know how to fight punch back. I want to learn how to fight punch back was like even better. Like I was watching Muhammad Ali yesterday, and I saw him drop a dude on his back foot with a straight one too. I was like, damn, you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah, I gotta learn that shit. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey man, ahead, my man, I was gonna say, uh. What's up, uh, your VA brother, man, Troy Isley, man? I know y'all real cool, man. Yeah, Talk hell yeah, Troy. man. Shout out to Troy Isley, man. Box boy Troy underscore one on Instagram, man. He tough. Number three in the world. In the world. You know what I'm saying? We going to make it number one this year. That's together. Right. That's right. Yeah. Hey, man, one of, one of the fights that we all want to see is, uh, if, if they ever fight, man, how you think that fight? I'm doing it on Chinese. We're not doing it with them. <laughs> 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 wow! <laughs> sure. now, I put like this though. Joshua, he he technically well, signed better than him. He probably he probably get Wilder a little bit, but right now if they fight tomorrow, Wilder for sure already. Already, bomb right. squad. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 Keith Johnson. Uh, what what is your most proud accomplishment right now today? <laughs> Mm. Mm. I had all my fights and stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. all of your fights, your your, your titles, your medals. Most proud accomplishment. You get back up after getting dropped and fucking that nigga up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's what I'm talking. That's what's up. Straight like I that. I feel like I feel like I feel like it just show like how great I can be and how tough I am. Okay, let That's me ask this up. question, man. And don't talk bad for this question. <laughs> I, just, I just want the people to know how you think. Do uh, you have any superstitions in boxing? Nah, I don't really believe in all that, man. But what I believe in, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen straight like that. If it's, meant to, if it's meant to be for me to win and, and do what I'm doing, then it's going to happen. And so far, I guess it's meant to be. There we go. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's the atmosphere? Break down. What's the atmosphere like in your gym when y'all training? <laughs> While we training, um, it's quiet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody locked in. Everybody focused. Somebody probably somebody in the bags, doing weights, doing mitts. But everybody just locked in, focused. You know what I'm saying? We get to playing here and there, but most of the time we just focus, basically. And do what we got to do. Now, when we after training, we all laughing, playing, fighting, play wrestling, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But while we training, ain't, 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 ain't no plan. All right. Hey, Rough House, ask him about his training. Yeah. Uh, in your own words, bro. Well, first off, who who is your trainer? Coach K. Corona. Coach okay. K. Corona. He on the Shout out uh, Coach K. K. Corona. Team. For yeah, sure. Right. And now in your own in your own words, uh, give us a give us a good description, uh, accurate description of your trainer and uh, his style of training. Man, uh, I, 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 heard this, I heard this decision, man. He a hell of a coach. He took me. He 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 took me to that next level. Um, when I was down, when ain't nobody know Keyshawn Davis, and I was sitting down, he was he was right there making sure I was good. You know what I'm saying? He was giving me phone calls and stuff like that. So I appreciate him for for sure that. Now on the training level, hell of a coach. Like I said, he brought me to that next level. I feel like he can almost teach me everything. We we click with everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand everything he be saying. And if, if I don't understand it, we'll go in the gym and work on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Until I understand it. 
So right. It's, it's, as a person, as a coach, he a, he a hell of a person, a hell of a coach, and I, I really appreciate that. Man. Already. Uh, That's what's really, up. Really. Hey, Ruff, Ruff, ask you about the uh, Pittsburgh. Man, hold up. <laughs> Check it out. Man, I hey. about that shit, man. Hold up. <laughs> hey, hold up. Hold up, bro. I got to, man. I was looking over your I was looking over your bio and your and your background info. And the one thing that jumped off the page at me, bro, is that you a fellow member of Steeler Nation like myself. You know what I'm saying? So uh I just wanted to ask, how long have you been a Steelers fan? And who's your favorite player on the squad? Man, who was my favorite player was was Heinz Ward and um Paolo, it was Paolo Malo. He right. like man, he, I mean, he like that tough uh, shit, man. I like that. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong with even one of them dudes. Yeah, for sure. That. I was but, a beast, uh, man. When I started liking them, I was, I was, I ain't had no team until I was ten years old. I think it was two thousand nine when he won the Super Bowl, was it? Uh, two thousand eight, and then again in two thousand ten. Well, yeah, it was one of those times when they won, and I was watching. It was two thousand eight. I was not. <clears throat> I was watching. I was like, damn, these niggas nice, man. Yeah, ever since yeah. then, when they won that joint, just played the Cardinals. Ever since then, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is my team." <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, man, what, what kind of music and stuff do you listen to before you fight? For my fights, man, I like that NBA Young Boy, man. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like that NBA, that NBA Young Boy. My favorite artist is Lil Durk. Used to be, he used to be G Herbo, but he fell off. I'm gonna give him a break for a little bit till he turned back up. But right now, it's Lil Durk. Oh, really? You got what, me feeling old as hell, because I don't know nothing about none of them cats. <laughs> hey, which <laughs> <laughs> hey, track? Which track, NBA? Young boy? Now, I like his latest album. Uh, his track, Valuable Thing. Okay. Hey, I'm looking ahead for you, man. I got a lot of confidence in your skill, right? So, after you make the team and bring back this gold medal, what's next for Keyshawn? Definitely turning pro. You know what I'm yeah. Hey, I was I, I was hoping you said that right. So let me get to this next question. With having the friends you have, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know you got a couple friends with two different promotional companies. Mm-hmm. Have you ever thought about which way you might say that? Uh, nah, right now I'm really just focused on the Olympics. Um, right. Gotta, as you probably would know, uh, of course, man, it's just calling me. More just looking at, I'm not really getting into all that yet. Right. All right. Yeah, that's what's up. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. You got yeah, it. I, yeah, I wanted to know, man, because uh, how do you feel about head girl, man? Because I remember when I was young, we'd be uh, having head girl. I couldn't stand that shit. You, you know, you get hit and it twist up on you sometimes and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, and and yeah. I, got a, I got a big head, man, and we could never have a head girl that fit my motherfucking ass. It seems like. <laughs> do, do you prefer to fight with or without the head girl? I mean, a lot of people prefer amateurs to stay with head gear on because it's amateurs, you know what I'm saying? But um, now that I took the head gear off, I kind of like it better. Uh, I feel like it put me at that next level to watch out for certain stuff. And, exactly. And uh, let, lets me know that I can't do certain stuff. And another pro is, like, when you turn pro, you already know what and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? When you pro, mm-hmm. so they won't throw you off when you're professional. And um, mm-hmm. like us, the U.S. The United States, we don't only... In the states, we only uh, country that use headgear. In the states, so when I fight internationally with no headgear and I come back to the states with headgear on, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to. You know what I'm saying? So it, yeah, it, it, like, it gives me that, it give me that extra push to really take somebody's head off. Basically. Already, already. Hey, I got already. a question for you, man. What's the first thing that come to your mind, KD? When I see it, the WBC came out of that and ordered that Wilder and Fury 2. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about that fight? Wilder and Fury 2? Um, I ain't watched that fight neither. I was training. But what I heard was everybody kept saying, man, Fury really won. The only rounds he lost was the rounds he had dropped. So that second one, I feel like Fury going to win every round. He fuck around Clint Wilder. Hey. You think he a Clint Wilder? <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you if you just boxing somebody and just catching keep catching with twenty shots back to back, one of them shots is gonna clip your ass and you go twelve rounds like they handy heavyweights. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't ain't nothing right. to get clipped. I ain't saying knock his ass out. I'm saying <laughs> okay, right. Okay, okay. right. Hey, well check this out, man. I know you said before, man, that you 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 a humble cat. You stay grounded, you know what I'm saying? You stay rooted, man. 
So please, for the people out there, let me take the time to brag on you real quick, bro. And I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna go down your uh, down your accomplishments according to your bio right here, man. We got uh, 2013 National Police uh, National Pal first place. 2014 National Pal first place. Uh, 2017 Golden Gloves first place. Uh, 2017 Youth Open first place. 2017 Eastern Elite Qualifier first place. I wasn't finished. I wasn't finished. All that shit up, man. I wasn't finished. Hold on, let me let me cook. I, hey, I got I got to let the peoples know, man. Hey, we this this young cat got the goods. Hold up, hey. 2017 Elite National Championships, first place. 2018 Elite National Championships, first place. 2018 Stroger Tournament, first place. And, yeah, and best boxer. And 2018 Chemistry Cup, second place, but we're we going to chalk that one up to politics. Oh really? Hey, that's that's just so that's just so the people can get a, a, a real good feel of your pedigree, you know what I'm saying? The work, the product that you put out, the work you put into the gym and what's come out of it, man. Hey, we dealing with the next thing right here, y'all. Good talk. He ranked number it's one a, in the country, a, y'all. Number one. Number, number one. one. Is it throwing in, man? Last year I lost I lost an international uh, fight against Cuba. I don't care if she cut out of Germany. So they just throw that in there and shit. Even, even, even I could lose. You know what I'm saying? Even I make mistakes. So that's why I want his ass back and I'm going to get him. Nah. That's what I'm talking I'm about. Ready. <laughs> that's the hell I'm talking about, man. Hey, hey, uh, Tisha, I'll tell you, uh, tell the people where they can find you at on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Man, you can find me on Instagram, Keyshawn Davis. Man. You can find me on Facebook, Keyshawn Davis. And you can find me on Twitter, Keyshawn Davis. Right, right. Okay, that's what's I'm up, ready. man. Let me tell you something, man. We ain't, we ain't gonna hold you too long. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But my last name is Davis too, man. So I'm gonna carry me through you a little bit. Because, <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I guess, that's yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we know you're gonna grow and you're gonna evolve and stuff like that. But man, I want you to keep this 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 core essence of your being, man. Because hey, man, we got love for you, man. We we woke up looking forward to this shit, and I definitely enjoyed having you on your show today, man. We appreciate you, man. Square bit. Man, I appreciate it. I have you, man. I have fun with y'all, man. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. Hey, it's gonna be it's gonna be dope, bro. In twenty twenty, when you on there getting that gold medal, and I can tell everybody in the crib with me, hey, I done chopped it up with that cat right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know we gonna be rooting for you, man. We gonna be hey, turning up up here for real you, talk. man. Hey, I'm a high, I'm a high side on him for real. I'm gonna I'm go all the way and say I know that nigga. I'm, I know that nigga. Yo, that's my man right there. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, and make sure y'all get an interview with me after I win that gold medal too. Oh, that's good, man. For sure. Hey, bring your brothers if you can too, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's easy, man. I got y'all. That's easy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah man. Next up. Hey, hey, Troy, too. Uh, KD, I'm, I'm going to get at you, too, man. We want to link with Troy, too, man. To get all of your homies that's on the Olympics team, man, that's, that's riding with you out there, man. Bring them through, man. We're going to bring them to the trap, to the cone, man. Gonna it, man. We love <laughs> that shit, man. Y'all, young king, shining like a diamond, man. We got 110% support behind y'all, man. And we know you're going to take gold in Tokyo. We know it. Thank you, man. Real talk. Real support, man. Real talk. Yeah, we gonna live and die with you, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you hey, win, talk. hey, you win, we happy. If you lose, we gonna be sad as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but we still gonna ride, bro. We, we team Davis ride. all day long now. All we still day. ride. So that, yeah. <laughs> yeah Real talk. Too long, man. We know you got things to do and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So tell them, tell them one more time where to find you. Instagram, Keyshawn Davis, number one. Facebook, Keyshawn Davis. And uh, Twitter, Keyshawn Davis. Also on Instagram, Davis Brothers. And on Facebook, DB3, DB3 Entertainment. Also, YouTube, DB3 Promotions. Look, yeah, we're gonna have to drop, gonna have to drop a link to your, uh, your channel in the description. So yeah, I'm gonna sure put it in the description. Subscribe. All right, for sure that. Hey, we we'll want to say thank you to Gregory Wyatt for the donation he left us early, you know what I'm saying? And all the people that came through to listen to us and stuff like that, we're going to close it out, Marlo. All right, man. Hey, man. Thanks, everybody, for coming out, man, checking out our, our young family, man. That's about to go bring back this gold, man. 
Yes, hey, y'all have a good one, man. And don't forget to tell them haters and trolls. Get the fuck out my gym. You heard it. Already. Hey. 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 Hey.